Could Lionel Messi soon be swapping Paris Saint-Germain for Inter Miami in the MLS? That is the club owned by David Beckham and currently managed by Phil Neville. Hey, imagine that. Uh, let's get more on this. We're joined now by the Athletics football correspondent David Ornstein. David, always a pleasure to see you. Now, you've been writing about this today. Come on, tell us what you know. Give us an exclusive. Well, it is a, a really big story, Jess, and it's great to be on to talk about it. It's one that's been bubbling for a long time because Messi signed a two-year contract with PSG. And I think the intention was to serve that two years and then to move on to something different. PSG want something to say about that because they would like to extend him. Barcelona would like to take him back. But the one that's so interesting is that into Miami CF have always been in talks for the last couple of years with his father. And that's the co-owners, George and Jose Mass, who own the club with David Beckham, but they've been spearheading it, the brothers together. And they've got to the point now, which I reported in my Monday column on The Athletic, that they are increasingly confident that they are going to sign Lionel Messi next summer, most likely. You don't presume he'll leave before the end of his contract. Um, there is a, a growing sense of optimism. Now, it's not done, it's not signed, it's not fully agreed, but they think they are moving in that direction. They're planning with him in their heads for the coming seasons, which is very exciting. Uh, they want to get it signed in the months ahead. There won't be any more talks until after the World Cup now. But if he was to go to the MLS and to Inter, Inter Miami, it would be an enormous story for the MLS, for that club, for U.S., soccer or football and for the world sport itself so yeah it's a fascinating one yeah really interesting story david there's kind of a few stories wrapped up in one it seems there because <laughs> uh, just in passing you mentioned about barcelona and the fact that there's a chance that they want messi back as well a huge story in itself any mm. chance of that happening do you think I don't know how realistic that is, especially with what's gone before, the water under the bridge between Messi and Barcelona that led to him leaving PSG. Also, their financial situation, whether they're going to be playing in the Champions League next season, which if you were a player like Messi and you're going to be staying in Europe, you would want to be uh, playing at the elite level competition. Um, and so I don't know how feasible that is, but the soundings coming out of Barcelona and Xavi, their head coach, is that we would love to have him back. And the suggestions are that they will make some sort of effort. I think Miami expect Barcelona to push hard, but there is confidence there that he's going to be coming over. And you can't underestimate the lure of Miami as a city. The Messi family have an apartment there. They spend a lot of time there. There's the links to South America, the Hispanic community. It's a place that they love and associate very heavily with. And it also into Miami have come forward in their in their sort of genesis. They're now uh, qualifiers for the, the playoffs that they lost to New York City FC. They're doing better on the pitch under Phil Neville. Their value is growing, and that's largely because they have been given permission to start work and construction on an amazing new permanent home stadium that will be at Miami Freedom Park, which looks like a spectacular proposal. And also the World Cup in 2026 is going to be jointly staged by the USA. Could Messi be a poster boy for that tournament? That's quite a prospect as well. So I think as things stand, Inter Miami are leading this chase for Lionel Messi and they think they're going to see it out. It should be a fascinating battle because Barcelona will push hard. PSG really do want to retain him and they managed to do that with Kylian Mbappe against the odds. But uh, yeah, Inter Miami are the ones who think they're going to get him. Look, David, when someone like Lionel Messi and, you know, has rumours about him leaving any club, it's big news. But I wonder what yeah. impact this might have in America. They've seen some big players join the MLS, not least David Beckham himself. Mm. How big would it be if Lionel Messi joins MLS? What impact could that have on the country as a whole? Oh, it'd be an absolute game changer. It'd be transformational, Jess. It would take them to a level that they've never been before. That competition, uh, the sport in that country, and also that specific club, which has got the stardust with David Beckham being there. And people you speak to say it was always his dream to bring Messi to his club. And there's been talk that Messi may even be given a, a part ownership of the club if he is to join. Um, we saw Beckham come to great fanfare, LA Galaxy. There were bigger names or very big names in football historically, but that's before the MLS was formed. Messi, in terms of his global iconic status, his resonance with fans all over the world, we've never seen anything like him. Maybe Christian Ronaldo on the same level and you think of the commercial opportunities it would bring in for uh, 
the MLS, for Inter Miami, for for US football in the lead up to the 2026 World Cup, it would knock it out of the park, as they say. It would be more than a home run. It would just be something that they've never seen before. And maybe they'll never see again. But when you speak to people in football, they they talk about the untapped potential of soccer, football in the USA. And if somebody like Messi is to come in the form he's in at the moment, which is one of his most spectacular seasons, statistically, he seems to be getting back to his top level again after a difficult first season at PSG, then it really would be almost unthinkable. And that's why with these situations, they're always a bit complicated and complex and unpredictable. So we never know what's going to happen until the ink is dry on a contract. But certainly that is the direction of travel at the moment. Oh. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one pans out. Not only would it be uh, a home run, I think it'd be a touchdown as well, David. Uh, David Olsen <laughs> from The Athletic, thank you so much for your time.